Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today, I want to talk about uh, supply drops and duplicates and armory credits and all of that sort of stuff. I have noticed a lot of people, especially on the subreddit, really complain about how many duplicates they are actually getting. So first things first, I want to show you. I want to show you just a little small snippet of my um, calling cards. That's what they're called, calling cards, because if you look, I have, I think, every single common and rare calling card. In fact, I have most of the calling cards that are available in World War II, at least the supply drop ones for the um, Operation Launch, whatever it's called. Uh, for the Winter Siege, that's a completely different story. However, that kind of rings true to what I think the reason people are getting so many duplicates is. The reason I think people are getting duplicates is because there's not that many different things to get. There's not that many different uniforms. There's not that many different um, common calling cards. There's not that many different calling or common and rare stuff to get. Everything that is heroic, everything that is epic, everything that is legendary is a little bit more rare to get. But also, I think people have just gotten a whole bunch of these things. Now, I don't have the stats for how many uniforms, how many weapon variants there are. I definitely think that uh, in order to kind of alleviate this, they should do a couple things. But I think the first thing that we as the consumers need to do is recognize that when we open a common supply drop, when we open a rare supply drop, most of the commons, most of the rares have been already opened by us. I am only a fifth prestige. I'm halfway through the progression system before I get to the insane amount of numbers, and I've unlocked a majority of things and by the way this system rings true for the winter supply drops as well there's not a whole bunch uh, of stuff in the winter siege event I have about half of the calling cards and about half of the emblems so really I expect about half the time uh, me to get a duplicate so the first step you know recognizing hey we have a majority of the common slash rare things and supply drops so if we see that common if we see that rare it's probably more than likely going to be a duplicate there are two things that I think Sledgehammer can do to help alleviate this minor issue, in my opinion. The more convoluted and perhaps the best thing that they can do is probably change the way, change the favoritism of the heroics and the legendaries and the epics. Make them slightly more common. Make them uh, kind of, I feel like the ratio is out of balance. I feel like I get way more common rare, therefore I have all of those all collected. And really the only thing that I need are those epic legendaries and heroics. So anything other than that, like a common supply drop, I'm not excited to open anymore uh, unless it had more of a chance of getting those legendary epics or heroics. That could be difficult to do, that could be not fair, that could be not good for their supply drop system. Ultimately, I think that would be a decent change. Make them a little bit more common, but that does run into the risk of, you know, hey, uh, I've, uh, I've accumulated everything in the game. You know, I have everything in the game, therefore I don't need to purchase any supply drops or really go for supply drops anymore. The second best change I can think of is by simply giving us more armory credits, more depot credits, more salvage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and this is really amplified by the fact that they added in armory credits in the supply drops with the Winter Sea event I dislike that because we were already getting armory credits with duplicates so to get a duplicate and then to get armory credits it doesn't feel good in the supply drop plus you have those things that are like XP weapon XP and division XP you know that that sort of stuff that you really can't get duplicates of that are always gonna be there and while I like them, they don't feel as rewarding as getting an item. So one thing I would do is get rid of the armory credits within the supply drops and I would replace that. You can still have that sort of system where, you know, it's not resetting or anything. You can replace that with social score. Social score is going to be difficult to come by because people aren't playing as many 1v1s as they used to and especially here on the PC, 
I've commended a lot of people and I can't really commend that many more people. So to get people to have some sort of way of getting a social score from supply drops, I feel would be beneficial. I think everybody wins in that situation. Social score is something people want, us consumers want, and it's something that is uh, non-duplicatable. Uh, so we can always get it from a supply drop without getting an item. So that makes you, the developers, happy so that we're always getting something and it's not like a duplicate makes us that makes us unhappy and the last little change of this second solution that I have is make the duplicates worth a little more uh, maybe not heroics maybe not epics you know but the commons the rares you know I only get 10 30 for a rare you know bump up the 30 to maybe like 50 100 bump up the common to 30 50 that sort of thing make it worth it you know uh, when Especially, I've noticed this, I've been buying contracts because they are a little bit easier, but I, I'll buy a contract for a supply drop with 200 armory credits or even 100 armory credits, and I'll open up the supply drop that I earn, and that's not 100 armory credits worth of stuff. It's like XP, duplicates, and then if I get like a rare armory credits, it's like 30. So all in all, I'll get maybe like 60 to 90 armory credits back after purchasing it for 100, 150, 200. Those are my two main solutions. There are other solutions like, you know, make the su su supply drops non-duplicate or duplicate protected. I feel like we're just going to run into that problem where... Uh, you know, we have everything, you know, and I feel like I love the balance of these things are quality. I really like the pistol grips. I really do. They look cool. They're stupid small things, but they're cool. They have a nice design. They fit with the World War II theme. They're really cool to look at. They're just pretty. They're really done. I love the art style. Same thing with the emblems. Same thing with the calling cards. I love just getting them because they're fun and unique and it's rewarding to me and I like it. Another solution could be getting a new type of supply drop, like maybe not dupli duplicate protected, but more like an epic supply drop or a heroic supply drop, you know, where it's like guaranteed you're going to get that. I think that would actually help balance out those ratios, like I mentioned previously, so that you, if I, if someone like me who has all of the commons and the rares, then maybe the common and the rare supply drops don't really do it for me. Maybe I'll purchase an epic or a heroic supply drop and that'll be rewarding for me. I don't want to make them purchasable, purchasable through only uh, COD points, but you know, maybe you can do contracts with them, maybe some of the higher contracts, maybe some of the weekly challenges, or you can even choose some of your rewards for the challenges. Like instead of saying, hey, if you do this within seven days, you get a rare supply drop. Let us pick, you know, do we want a winter supply drop? Do we want a rare supply drop? Do we want an epic supply drop? Maybe the challenges are different for epic supply drops or heroic supply drops, something like that. I feel like you can do a million different things to just tweak this to make this just a tiny bit better. I already really do enjoy the supply drop system, but this could make it a little bit less fatiguing for people in my opinion, because I do see fatigue in the community. That's why I'm making this video and that's why I've presented the solutions in this video. So anyway, that's all I have time for you guys. Let me know what is your experience with the supply drop system. Go into your calling cards, do this challenge, go into your calling cards and see how many you still need out of how many are actually in the game. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.